Well, he was tweeting this morning about how he called off that retaliatory strike against Iran. Called it off at the last minute because the response, our response to the attack on the drone was not proportional. General Jack Keane had some insight on that for us last hour. Listen to this. They received additional information that followed the president's instincts. If you remember, when he was in the Oval Office, he said, you know, my instincts tell me that this could have been a mistake, possibly. Hmm. But later, they got information that confirmed just that, really? that the Iranian national leadership was furious with the tactical commander who shot down the drone because they clearly did not want that provocation to take place. Fascinating insight from a man who knows. And this man is Stephen Rogers, former senior military uh, intelligence officer on the FBI's National Joint Terrorism Task Force. So welcome to the program. Good my, to have you. My pleasure York. to be here. And it may be raining outside, but the sun is always shining <laughs> on Barney and Company. Always. You practice that one. <laughs> no, You're just no. trying to get on my right side. Okay, let's get right at it. Yes, sir. It seems to me that the president does not want to attack Iran, that his preferred policy is containment. Am I right? You're absolutely right. Varney, the president has been uh, very consistent in letting the world know that he is not interested in going to war with anyone. He has demonstrated extraordinary leadership in addressing this issue. When the, the news broke that the president stopped the uh, military operations going into Iran, as General Kane, myself, my instinct said, wow, he got intelligence overnight. He got intelligence that uh, yeah. uh, allowed him to say, hey, look, we're not going to do this. He found out that the senior Iranians were really angry at the local commander who'd fired off the shot that brought the drone down. And he found out also that the three targets he was about to attack would have killed a lot of people. And he didn't want that. Well, that's right, Varney. He, he, he went back to Military 101. They, they say he's not a military guy, but Military 101 is give your opposition an opportunity to bow out gracefully. And when he stated that eh, probably a rogue general on the ground, he was sending a signal to Iran. Here's your chance. You made a mistake. Here's your chance to back out, saving some face. In addition to that, we have a president who is not interested in killing people. Uh, he's interested in diplomacy. He's interested in fighting a war across a table. So he was very concerned about the collateral damage. And to his credit, he put a stop to that. I think perhaps a more pressing and urgent issue is John Bolton next week going to Israel. I think this is all about Iran's plan to keep uh, to, to enrich uranium over and above the limits set in the in the uh, deal with the, on, on Iran nukes. I think John Bolton's either going there to say to Israel, "We've got your back if you attack Iran," or he's going there to say, "Don't attack Iran because the president doesn't want it." Which is it? I believe he's going to Israel to uh, confirm to them that we're going to watch their backs. Look, Israel is... is that's is, that's is, a big deal, Mr. Rogers. Yes, it is. That is a big deal. It is. Because if we say, we got your back, they'll attack because they don't ever want Iran to get a nuke. And, 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 and look at the survival of their nation is at stake here. Iran gets a nuke, you know, they're committed to destroying Israel. But keep in mind that... Uh, uh, you know, for the president to do what he did, let's make sure, and he's going to make sure, that North Korea and other nations don't understand that as a signal of being weak. We are a strong country. We will use our military when necessary. But with regard to Israel, look, our best ally, our, our most uh, uh, coveted friendship, I'm sure we're going there to say, look, if you have to do what you have to do, you could count on us. And you think the Israelis will say, yeah, we got to do what we're going to do. If they feel that their nation is in imminent danger, yes, they will not hesitate. Wow. So that's that's the real crisis here. Isn't well, it? well, it is. It's my opinion based on the, the, the history of Israel and their relationship with our nation. But I've got to tell you that it's a little different story. Their nation, their entire nation is at stake with I'm regard sure. to Iran. Sir, it was a pleasure having you on the show Always and here. in New York City. And Great I stuff. love the sunshine here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to interrupt here. I've got breaking news.